Hi guys, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and we have Jamie Jones back with us. I'm back again, can't keep me away. Okay, so we have got a squarely uh, gel press, that's what we're going to be working with today. And we've got green sleeves, but we're going to be using the old one, which is russet orange, because we're going to be using it to create like a, a bit more of a Halloween pumpkins so, mm, yeah makes sense. so i want the colors to be nice and light in the background so we can get that lovely detail from the pumpkin carriage so i'm going to start with the green sleeves i'm going to pop that on look at that green the whole way over that's it's nice. like whoa that is, nice. that is a really super bright green that's your um, kind of green it is it is i do like that kind of green and then I'm going to add a little bit of the orange. Have so you gone over the full gel plate with the green? I've one? kind of blended it out so it's stronger this side. Okay. So the orange ah. I'm going to bring in from this side. Yeah, so I'm yeah. kind of crossed in the middle. Okay. Yeah. And how are you doing mixing the two without any lines appearing on the gel press? Um, just keep blending it, just keep going over it. Okay. Um, and yeah, they're, they're, they're easy blendable. That's why these inks, that's why we design them right. basically for the gel press because the water content in them uh, is very, very low. Yeah. So they don't bead, they don't streak. So they just blend really nicely uh, okay. on the gel press. Uh -huh. So let me just clean that Thank off you. and then you can have a go with that. Mm -hmm. While you're doing that, something I forgot to do is cut our card. So oh, yeah. it's over to you on the camera oh. for a minute. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Hi guys. I'm just going to cut the card. <laughs> <sighs> I'm nervous now. So what I'm doing here is just getting plenty of green sleeves on my braid. And we're going to go onto the into the gel press. Whoa. This. I'm back. Lend me. Oh, okay. There's your card. Thank goodness you're back. Why? I almost got <laughs> lost. <laughs> oh dear. Right, and then go with your orange. Brilliant. Okay. Just blend it out. Nice. Yeah. Good. Pop your brayer over there. And then uh, I've got the fan brush here, just with water. And all I'm going to do is just. Oh gosh, yeah, you always struggle with this, oh, don't you? Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm just going <laughs> to. I'm just flicking the water over the gel press. So tiny little spatters. So take off a lot of the water, the yeah? And then just bring those over. Okay. I'm putting quite a bit on because um, I want the color to be, the background to be quite sort of fluid. I don't want it to be too um, organic, if yeah. that kind of makes sense. So plenty on of fine drops. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm getting better at this. Yeah, you are. If I remember correctly, I think you took to bashing the handle on the end. Oh, that, yeah. Didn't you? Which was just another way, because I know some people do struggle with doing yeah. that. So you can't actually use I'll give a little probably light that one. To... Okay. Yeah. That wouldn't be too heavy. No. What's oh, going on me? Okay. Yeah, I, I think, think so. That looks on good. there, isn't there? I think so. Right, so I think this time, just to make sure that I get the card central, I'm going to put the card down first. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to turn the gel press over the top. I'm going to line that up. Oh, no. What have you done? Nothing. That always worries me when you <laughs> say that. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I forgot that. I forgot that you'd what? Nothing. Oh, no. It's okay. It's savable. It will be okay. 
I mean, you can put these onto an acrylic block if you wanted to, if um, you wanted a firm grip on it. There you go, absolutely fine. I think it's fine. Mine hasn't actually got any orange left on it. I don't know what I've done with mine. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm not worried about that. We'll build that up. Okay, yeah? is that on? And do I, how hard do I need to press on this? Um, like. Just make sure it's completely covered. Let's do that and I'll take it off. Yeah, just pick it up. That's it. Oh, nice. It is nice, actually. Look at the difference. Very different. Very different. Look at the difference in that. And that, I'll tell you why, because I've put more water on. And that's oh. that's the effect that you get. Less water, more water. And that's all it is. Oh. Yeah? It just shows how much, like, one colour can change to be, like, so different. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to dry this off. Do you want a blast? Thank you. <laughs> We're having a blast. We're having a blast. We always have a blast. We always do. We're, We're happy crafters, aren't we? I might go that way, actually. With a pumpkin there in the orange bit. Nice. Wouldn't it look better in the green, though, because it might get taken up by the. Oh, actually, it's like grass. And then an orange sky. Okay, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> right, I'm going to ink up my pumpkin carriage here in Nocturne. Do you like this one? The pumpkin carriage? Yeah. Oh, it's one, I think it's my, one of my favourites. With, think... with all the customisable things on it as well, like oh, that you yeah. brought out with the... Yeah, which is what we're going to show you today, how to build up the uh, pumpkin. So but just on its own, it even still looks. Absolutely. Oh, I don't know, yeah. I, I love it. I want to get one myself. <laughs> In real life. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. You're getting into your stamping, aren't you? You're enjoying it. Love, love, love stamping. Yeah. It's quite therapeutic. It is. Mm. It's nice. Yeah. It really takes you out of. The rest of the world for a bit and yeah. can just let your imagination run wild. Yeah. Oh dear. It always makes me nervous when you come on here with me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, unpredictable. <laughs> oh, nice. That is lovely. That is nice. It is lovely. Okie dokie. Right. So we're going to accessorise it now, which I, I really enjoy doing. It's just mm. being a little bit creative and putting your own take on it. So we've got some little lamps. We've got mushrooms here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you could even put foliage on the top. You can do whatever you mm. want, you know, just be, use your imagination. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I said that to you. Been given the freedom now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with some little dinky mushrooms here. Um, and twilight. So I'm going to ink up in twilight. Going to get a little acorn. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> We're back with the acorns. Back with the acorns. And the fur. <laughs> Right, more mushrooms. Got some mushrooms down there as well. Okay, so a bit of melt in. I'm going to pop that up there, I reckon. Just wiping off because I don't want to get that bit. And then I'm going to pop the other lamp down here. You can tell what my favourite subject was in school. I just, I just, I, I get so absorbed into creating art though. I yeah. was never an academic, never. No. In fact, you're more academic than what I, me or your dad was, to be yeah. honest. But, um, 
No, I was never interested in anything but just drawing. Just drawing. Yeah. I'd be drawing oh, in my really? bedroom when I was like young and I can remember mum always shouting upstairs, Trace, Trace, you need to eat something. <laughs> like two hours later, Trace, <laughs> come on, eat something, you've not eaten anything all day. Because <laughs> she gets so absorbed you know, yeah. in doing, you you know, art. And time just, just flies. Just takes you to a different place. Yeah, you just don't even think about anything else, do no, you? No, not at all. The twilight, twilight is okay. yours. So, <laughs> right, I'm going to put a little one of our little lamps here as well. I think that might look nice. Well, we've got one of those as well. Sorry, I'm just concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a bit too much though, a bit too close. That one, I've, I've got an idea. Okay, I'm a bit like just. Uh, do actually because we're cutting around this anyway yeah 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 i'm hoping so well yes so. that, that yeah <laughs> um, that's up to you though okay right yeah. i'm going to use black for that mm. is this what colors are now these come in a set don't they they there's two of them i think yes there is two of them yes uh, i'm just using the small one. Oh, do you like that the sport for choices here. There's there's too many options. I, know. <laughs> I don't know which one to stamp. I know. Did you see that card that um, Mona did? Oh, and she put think, um, and, uh, like everything on it, which is not something I would normally do. No. But it was absolutely amazing, even down to the mermaid's tail in, yeah, in the water, because yeah, yeah, yeah. she created this whole scene of the pumpkin underwater. And was, I, I, we were all really like imp so impressed here, stunning. weren't we? It, it was, was stunning. Yeah. yeah. Just Amazing. something different that I wouldn't normally have done. No, no. But then that's the beauty of having the design team because they're all unique, aren't they? They all have their own they've ideas. They've all got their own style and completely different as well, which is, um, which is great. It encourages you to be you, doesn't it? Yeah. Completely. It does. I know that hasn't come out, but don't fret over it. It's fine. We can Not just even a little bit of a slant and everything. It's looking great to all that. No, oh, it's fine. It's alright. What you could do is use Colour your it. stencil brush and blend in that corner to make it dark. That's uh, what I would yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Okay. Right. I've got to think now. Put my thinking cap on. What am I going to do now? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to oh could I borrow the elements orange? Thank you. And what I might do is just colour that in a little bit more, make the pumpkin stand out. Oh yes. You read my mind. It needs to just pop out now, so yeah. we've got to bring in a little bit more colour. Hmm. And it's amazing how just that bit of colour just makes it into a solid image. Sorry. Are you pinching mine? No. I would never. So I'm going to make it slightly darker at the edges and, oh, light, and lighter in the middle. 3D? Yeah. Nice. Painting with a or drawing with a paintbrush. It's quite difficult. Are you drawing? <laughs> Painting. Actually try that brush. Might be easier. I think that's a that's one for literally doing such a fine line. Oh, okay. So you wouldn't use that in that instant. I'm just grabbing another paintbrush. So you know, the long one, yeah, is just for literally doing a long line. Right. But for filling in, oh, yeah, just get a, much. yeah, quicker and it's a slightly fatter brush, so. And we'll probably go over that with a bit of Posca pen as well. So, 
You can have that if you want. Thank you. I'm going to think about what colour I'm going to paint the lamp now. Um, what colour should we do? I might actually do that blue at all again. I quite like that. It's a really nice colour. But blue is your favourite colour. Blue is my favourite colour. You're not wrong. Oh, that's quite bright blue, that one, isn't it? Over the yellow, though, it goes quite green. Quite a green oh, blue. Oh, that's really nice. It's like a turquoise yeah, orange. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Nice. Okay. Yes. Oh, well, I like that. Just going over the edge a little bit, just to give it a bit of shadow. I have a brown and henna. Have a look over there. The sound looked better in henna and truffle. Um, what are you planning on doing? Painting the sign. Where are you painting it? Oh no. Because uh, of the words? Oh yeah, maybe just the bit of the stick. I'll tell you something you could do. I do like the corners. Tell you something you could do. Mm -hmm. And I am going to take over here because you won't know what I mean. If you get water, what you could do is go over the top with the water. It's just dirty water, it doesn't really matter. Because your VersaFine is actually an oil based ink, it won't budge. No matter how mm. much water you put on over the top. Um, but what water does over the top of the elements, it forms it to the surface. Oh, so it intensifies it? Then. No, yeah. you can actually bleach it out. Oh, see? yeah. Yeah? So it makes your sign stand out that little bit more. But you really need to pull the water on. You can't just put a little bit, you really need to pull it on. Yeah? Okay. You see how much that stands out now? Way more. So the longer you leave the water on, the more it will bleach out. So, um, yeah. Okay, I think that looks good now. Well, it, you know, it, it's clearer. Yeah. And it's made, made it sort of 3D, yeah, made it stand yeah, out yeah, a bit. Yeah, definitely. Well, what, the other thing you could do, just, you know, shall I have a go for you? Do what? <laughs> All I was going to do is you could go around the sign very, very lightly, That's light like colour. So I'm going to do that with the pumpkin now. And I'm just going to go around the edge. And again, it makes it just pop out. Yeah? Mm. So you could do that with your signs, yeah. go around the edge. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Which one was I? This one. It's um, all about building depth into it. Yeah. What colour do you want? The Emperor Red, please. <laughs> okay. Okay. I didn't want to give you an option because I knew you wouldn't give me this <laughs> Well, you go for it. You'll see. <laughs> this is the yeah. bit you enjoy most, isn't it? <laughs> it just makes me nervous, but it's fine. Do you know what? It's your card. It's your card. You do whatever you like. Don't worry about me being just a control freak. <laughs> is, it, is this one you gave me before? Yeah, I think. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking those colours, they're nice. Mm. I'm going to go a little bit darker though. So I've got, ooh, I've got Midnight Blue here, another one of our new colours, which is a real sort of the darkest purple. It almost looks black until you see it in the light and there's a hint of purple yeah. in. Have you seen that? Yeah. 
this this one is literally midnight blue is like a, a the darkest blue is purple isn't it it's not just black though as it looks no no you it, get it into the light you do see the color you can see the color yeah absolutely look at this <laughs> look at the evil it's nice how cool is that that is nice yeah, yeah. It's, it's an evil carriage <laughs> <laughs> it's going to steal all the fairies so what am i calling you leonardo yeah jamie da vinci <laughs> i like painting with elements yeah. it's probably something that not many really think to do no it isn't is it but it's a really good technique it is a good technique and you get shade, real yeah, definition from yeah, it yeah, as well definitely definitely mm. Definitely. Definitely definition. Sorry, I'm being my cross. Which one do you can want? Can I share the lid of that? Please? You can have that now. Yeah, thank you. You're very welcome. The elements have gone down well with our customers as well, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, looks like they will. I'm already thinking about the next lot. <coughs> next lot of colours. There's never enough colours. Never enough no. colours. Well, I think how many colours in the world there are. I know. Bit of yellow with the light. And the lids on. Tell you off for leaving the lids off and I'm leaving them. <clears throat> right. I think I'm gonna put a few little words on and about. Um what colour should I go with? I might actually go with that very faintly. Chianti. Hey happy days. You like it? This that was shading. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Love it. Um, hmm. What other kind of colour? Hmm. Oh, have we got a yellow element? Yes, we do. You want some yellow? Sahara. What are you using yellow for? We're on the sign. Oh, okay. Maybe. You could try it. You might know. want something. Oh no! Bit... Sorry, the yellow is for here. Mm, ink a yellow ink over an orange. You'd probably be better off with a Posca pen. Okay. Um, because it's more opaque. Um, think about watercolors. Is you you, you can't get layers so much. Yeah. No. Okay. So. I'll just get some fine as well. I might just put a bit of white on the table and just pick that up. Because with Posca you can paint, you know, as well. Just need to add a little bit of water. All I'm going to do is just highlight a few little areas. Holding your breath. Oh no, I'm really concentrating here. <laughs> I'm going to put a few dots about now. I quite like painting as well. You said that a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really enjoying painting. It's good. getting to talk now we're getting so engrossed in what we're doing we're not even speaking to anybody our poor customers have gone into complete silence sorry guys i was just completely taken away then i forgot we were even i know we did actually i was just enjoying making it enjoying the moment yeah no we were um okay poscas yes bit of posca magic bit of posca You've got loads of different yeah, colours red. there. A red. Uh, yeah, I've got um, a really bright yeah. orange or a Don't red. Yeah. That's 
so. Right, how do we do this again? Right, give it a shake. Are you going to? Yeah. Okay. So you need to get the back of a stencil brush, yeah? And just... Okay, I've got it. Yeah? Is it coming through? Um. Right. Glitter. And then... That was the other thing. I don't really like this, but one. we're doing this. Oh, a little breath now. That's because you've held your breath again. <laughs> it's intense, this crafting. <laughs> Just get the raspberry for this. There you go. Thank you. I'm going to put a little bit of green stickles down at the bottom. Yeah, I like that. I'm done. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. We've got like a blue one of these. Oh, yeah, the sparkly Cayman, please. That's a lovely colour that oh, is. Really nice. I haven't I haven't used that before and then I used it the other day and now I can't stop <laughs> using it. <laughs> You're too tall. I know. <laughs> or I'm too short. Need to a bit, don't <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should stand on something. <laughs> There we go. Are you happy? Yeah, I think so. Cool. That's nice. Oh, a bit green as well. I like the idea of the ground. You see my grass here? It's great, isn't it? You enjoyed that, haven't you? Thoroughly <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I'm going to find you in my office probably at 7 o'clock yeah. tomorrow morning, aren't I? Secret crafter. <laughs> Bit of sparkle though, it's amazing what a bit of sparkle does. does. It just brings it to life, it really doesn't does. it? Do you want to darken that corner? Are you happy? Um, it might just be a bit faded, like you know, just Absolutely. worn over time, wasn't it? That's fine. Need to get the fairies to come out and fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, right? There we go. Are we happy? I'm really happy. Should we? Cut them down and then. Yeah, we can cut them down. I'll go and cut them down. Oh, thank you. There you go. Oh, thank oh yes. It looks better, doesn't it? Now it's all cut down. I like it. Cool, yeah. It's one of my favourite ones, that. Or cool beans. Or cool beans. Okay, guys. Thank you mm. so much for joining us again. Yes. Um, and hope. thanks for your patience. Well, yeah. we've kind of rambled on about nothing. I hope you've enjoyed today. And we um, we've had some this, fun. We? Yes, we've had some great fun with this. And we hope you enjoy the stamps. Yes. And I hope it's enjoy inspired the them. Yeah, to yeah. Let's see your versions on of these <laughs> online. Share them with us. Yeah. We want to see. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You take care. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Do you know what? Oh. I, I really like that. Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> it is really nice. The